Hey everyone, so we're out here in San Diego. Hey everyone, so here we have a 1995 E250 coach house conversion. This has uh, about uh, 48,000 miles on it, all original. And it will be getting a agile off-road four-wheel drive system being dropped off today. Hey everyone, so we're out here in San Diego, Sunday afternoon, April 10th, and just a few days ago it was about 100 degrees, back into the 60s and 70s, which is nice. So let's take a look at a few RVs, and this one in particular over here is for sale. So this is a 1995 Ford Econoline 250 factory coach house conversion conveniently changed to a couch house this is the 192 RL which is rear lounge I have another one over here no mas there's a 1991 factory converted coach house and this is the TB which is twin bed different layout same company that's the brick nose this is the uh, rounded they just switched it up in 1992 so let's take a look at what we have here right now I'm gonna open up the little compartment for our own and microlight 2800 generator working great it has 21 original hours on it. Hasn't been started up for a while. Last time we did start it, we basically just kind of made sure everything was uh, connected correctly. And uh, there is a switch inside. It pretty much started right up and we were able to operate Get this closed. The AC up top as well, so that works just hasn't been run much since I've had it. Don't need it. This is a desert camper, so we don't run it out there. Mostly just, uh, I think those are more connected to the house or say the, um, the 110 outlets, which is right here. Let me see if I got my key on me. Got it right here. So it has the shore power, works fine. Over here, this is the propane tank. I believe it's, I don't know, 20, 30 gallon. It's pretty large. Uh, everything's working properly on this as well. You can see that it's looking about a half a tank. Of course, gas. And with the gas, we have an upgraded 46 gallon desert tank. This was installed by Agile Off-Road and Santee here in San Diego. This is a uh, double lined bottom. Works really well, good clearance. This is our black water out. This valve was replaced. Some uh, aftermarket side steps. And these are 265, 75, 16 KO2s. See right here, KO2. This is the class E, the load range E. So this is a extra sidewall for heavier vehicles and 
worn locking hubs for our agile off-road you can see right here smarter than dirt 4x4 four four system so this is a TTV Dana 50 installed all the components were new when installed uh, including all the brake components calipers everything in here so the whole front end was ripped out you can see down along the back so the transfer case out over here there it is that's the bar borg warner and this is automatic push button high and low range uh, so the drive shaft obviously is custom and that is the e4od transmission you can see in there heavy duty everything's pretty clean under here as you can see there's just some very minor surface rust this comes off with some two to four hundred grit no problem and all up and through here sanitary clean no drips obviously this is brand new you can see in there all the components that's our big gas tank and going along the back that other tank over here is the gray water tank so let's go take a look at some other components there's the Dana 50. You can see the 5 -0 right there. Like I said, everything clean. All the wires have been, you can kind of see in here, zip tied, clipped in, so there's nothing loose and hanging. Everything's pretty tidy. Let's just go take a look. There's the new brake lines. This is a little surface rusted. It was never treated we didn't paint it when it got installed so but uh, everything is perfect in here you can see the the hardware is nice and clean and there's our fox shocks with custom coils like i said here's the uh newer version so clean rounded edges this was switched out in 1992. grill is new lights are new you can see some just some from probably just standard road rash rocks whatever coming up that's really the only paint issue everything else is original paint striping from 1995 everything's nice and clean this was not a repaint there's no accidents the only accident which has which I'm just uh, at a loss to explain is right here. So it looks like at some point they might have had a jack up here. I don't know. Or it was jacked up and there was something sitting here. But this is a really weird spot to be dented in. But from here, you don't notice it. It's really invisible. Except when you come up from underneath. There's no effect anywhere. Everything's clean from inside. This being a little squashed is, has no effect at all. It's still got plenty of pipe diameter going out. Everything's nice and tight. This is the exhaust for the Onan generator. And as you can see in here, the frame is clean. There's no rust. If there's any rust that's on here, it's just very minor surface rust. We can take a look underneath as well. So, like I said, these are the U-joints. I'm sorry, the U-bolts. Just light surface rust. Nothing major at all. Um, just some of the edges up in here, which would be typical for a 30-year-old, almost 30-year-old vehicle. But frame-wise, it's super solid. There's the other Fox shocks. 
So let's take a look inside. All these latches, not all of them, but this one, I think uh, three of the five doors, the cables and mechanisms were replaced. Uh, some of the lock cylinders were rebuilt. So these perfectly close very and open very nice. All the doors have the dynamat inside. Hear the difference? Very solid. And this is the interior. So I have some of the original literature from the build in 1995. Uh, coach house, Suburban, that's the heater. This is the uh, Norcold, what is this? Refrigerator. We got the generator, 1996, which I believe this is 95 though. This is my shop manual. There's the, uh, another generator booklet. But we're not here for that, we're here for the interior. So there used to be a large cabinet right here. Kind of see the outline, which made it really difficult to get in and out. You got a very small space. There's way too much storage in here, so we deleted that. That's why these little holes are there. And as you can see, it's clean and it's 1990s red. This is the kitchen galley area. Perfectly working refrigerator freezer, clean, no smells, no stains. Two burner stove, very low usage, works perfectly. Sink, this is our fan area, which also acts as the test area, so you can see Old tank is empty, fresh water is down to about a third. The gas, which we show is about a half. This isn't perfect, but looking about a half to a two thirds. And then the house battery, which is a brand new 100 watt or 100 amp hour lithium ion is showing full. Water pump, you can hear it come on maybe. Oh, and it's on. We'll go ahead and turn that off. So let's go ahead and turn it back on. Water pump on. And we'll get this to come on. There it goes. Works perfectly. Go ahead and turn this back off. Hood light. Hood fan. And this is the generator start button. So we're not going to turn this on right now. But you can see the original hours. 21. This thing is brand new still. There used to be a large microwave right here. Deleted that because who needs a microwave when you're out camping? And uh, yet to be finished this area, but there's basically this is where we put our water bottles and kitchen appliance, kitchen items when we're cooking. Another little cold cubby hole for that. This is above the driver's area. Nice little clean storage, new belt. And this is the driver area itself. We have a rear view mirror that fell off because we need to remount it. Easy fix. And these are very comfortable seats. This is the curtain that gives the privacy. Go ahead and pull this out. And you can see the dash area super clean this is a uh, factory coach house conversion so upgrade on all the panels um, this opens out you can see how it cup holders upgraded stereo system jvc and is powered by a jl audio i believe it's an eight inch powered sub with uh, matching speakers so the sound is excellent when you're driving on long trips especially with the doors having all the sound material deadening it's super quiet super comfortable i did mount an aftermarket trans temp cooler you can see 
it stays on at the last temperature. So this was driving, I don't know, 50 miles. Got up to about uh, 160 within range. As soon as you start it, it'll go back down to zero and then work its way up. So coming to the back area, we have a bathroom. Everything works perfect, super clean. And this is the couch area, which is now converted to a bed. So there used to be another box right here. Uh, like a cabinet that held a super old 1990s TV audio entertainment system. Pretty much useless. Deleted that and then added these two leafs here so what it did is expand the bed area the bed used to be only on this little area in here where which is the original red very small unless you're less than five foot five um really not comfortable to sleep in i'm about uh 5 11. i had to sleep corner to corner and my feet kind of uncomfortably touched a little bit so now with this added here this goes out, uh, I think, if you're over six foot, six foot two, or even more, perfectly. Uh, we sleep two here. M a ton of room. Even have this little extra area to the side. And um, very comfortable. Um, lots of storage. Just way too much storage all the way throughout. This is the AC system that works perfectly. We got a fan in here. Another light, this is hooked up to the lithium ion battery, house battery, works perfectly. So some storage here, that's the table that uh, when this is set up to a couch area, you have a seating and table area, little racks for hangers, ton of room in here. Here's another kind of a galley area for storage. Lots of room, nice finishes, super clean. And this is the slide out for the kitchen galley area. Take a look at the rear area here. And this is a Welltech design here in San Diego as well. Custom rear bumper tire carrier with a full swing out bar here. So you can see good latches, very heavy duty and has a little pin here keep it from swinging back at you so it's a locking this is just a little storage area or you know a little platform so you can build whatever you want on that but this is really heavy duty um, this door here is not from the original vehicle originally it came with the tire carrier right here so it's just a mounted on the doors three spots in the sheet metal not very well designed i bought it it was already cracked and ripped and bondoed so once i replaced this rear bumper with a new tire carrier i went ahead and just replaced the door instead of trying to hack out a fix again and this is the one i found worked out perfect the paint's pretty much exactly the same and um, everything went in perfectly so like I said with some of these hardware being uh, replaced I believe it was even some of these cables the doors open and close perfectly especially with the sound deadener they're nice feel nice and heavy and same finishes on the inside of these doors as all the other ones from the factory coach house conversion and uh, you can see in here this is the rear bed area converted out underneath here is a little some more storage we even have a little secret area in here I just have my tools for changing tires a couple chairs this is the actual uh, jack in here leveling blocks underneath here there's access to the lithium-ion 100 amp battery 
course you need an ax. Like I said, all the doors close perfectly. Barely have to close them. Coach house. Let's go ahead and open up the driver's side door. Everything opens up really nice. All the original stickers. In here as well. This is not a repaint, once again. Nice finishes on all the doors. All the original plastics from the coach house conversion. And uh, as uh, most people would want to see, let's go ahead and get a cold start. It was started uh, approximately five days ago, possibly. Let's go ahead and get this out of the way. And we'll see what happens. So as I mentioned, this is the trans temp cooler I installed. It's about 160 right here. This stays at its position once you shut it off. So this represents the operating temperature it was at over the last, uh, I think it was probably 15 miles to get it out where it's parked right now. So once it starts, it'll drop back down to zero. But let's go take a look at this in here. So no foot on the pedal. Let's see what happens. There it goes. So like I said, down to zero. It'll work its way back up once you start driving. No foot on the pedal. Go ahead and delete this sound here. And as you can see, that is the original miles. 52339.2. That is the radio aftermarket. Really nice stereo system. Makes it really nice to drive long distances. And uh, AC, heat, everything works perfectly. And uh, basically up in here, it's the same throughout, just the same finishes, vinyl, super clean, no rips, tears, no stains, a little map lighting area also in here. All these are here as well. Like I said, my little rear view decided to pop off when I was hitting it with this, but we'll put that back on, no big deal. So let's go look, take a look at the motor itself while it's running. Let's see what we can do with one hand. So, original stickers all the way throughout. This uh, motors with its 52,000 miles, runs like it has 52,000 miles. Super clean, everything's nice and tidy, tied up with uh, zip ties. So nothing loose, nothing hanging. Intake right here. And uh, AC works perfectly. No leaks on the radiator, runs cool. I did have the, uh, this side over here, the exhaust manifold was replaced when I bought it. It was leaking. That was a tough repair. I had to call in somebody to remove uh, broken bolts cost me a little more than I wanted to spend but it needed to be done so this thing had a full I guess your 60,000 mile service full plugs belts uh, everything was redone as far as fluids checked through and about 3,000 miles ago 
Battery works fine, no issues. Caps are all here. Power steering down there doesn't leak. And like I said, everything works well. So one last little quick walk around. Once again, 1995 Ford Econoline 250, original coach house conversion from the factory in 1995. So this went straight from the dealer right to the factory. And I got it, had it converted four wheel drive. This is the Dana 50 TTB. So it's the independent front suspension, basically. Really smooth ride, much better than when I got it from its factory setup. It's running 265, 7516 Class E KO2 uh, BFGs with the worn locking hubs and hard top with about six foot two or so, more or less, uh, standing room. And here it is. A little swing out over here. Go ahead and put this back in. I can do it with one hand here. There we go. Awning works. And this thing's ready to drive cross country. So if you have any questions, let me know. And this uh, 192RL couch house is looking for a new home.